our group is here to present us uh, small business plans uh, of our zinc company. Our company name is Zinc Agile of the with a tagline called Zinc is the future. This is our tagline. Uh, and I would like to introduce some of our friends. Uh, he is Harish Tom Sarma and he is uh, Sudeep Bhattam. Now I would like to hand over to you. So listen to Harish for a brief process of business. Thank you, Amin. Now I'm going to talk about the mission. Meeting customers set meeting customer satisfaction and offering the best quality product. Our vision is to be the number one sports company mm -hmm. in Asia and our targets are to build the good com company image, to become the best among our competitors and to provide the best quality products. Our company is a trading company. It is based on Shanghai in China and we have four existing products that is skis, bicycle, surfboard and falls. We have successfully completed our processing presentation processing in stock exchange at rank 1 and this is our evidence of that. Now I am going to call Amin for the further continue. Uh, thank you, Aris. As, um, as I would say, it has already known that we have been successfully in the number one, comp number one company in the processing competition. Now I would like to um, move towards a new product that our company is going to launch. Uh, we, we Zing companies uh, are the sports, sports product company. So following the horizontal product expansion, we have also tried, we are also planning uh, to launch another sports product, com product that, we, that would be basketball. And there are lots of lots of manufacturer of basketball as well as different types of basketball available in the market. But at at first we are uh, we are we have Susan Spalding as our official supplier from where from whom we will be getting our basketballs. And among the different types of basketball at first at the initial phase we will be targeting only the Spalding NBA official game basketball. Actually this is the this is the basketball which is used in the official game of NBA National ba Basketball Association right there in the United States of America. Uh, since since our company Zinc is based in China, uh, let's let's see some status of basketball in the Chinese market. Earlier, basketball used to be a government funded or state funded uh, sport. So because of that, the the popularity of basketball does not skyrocket. But but by the 1995, the, uh, the professionalism of basketball took place, and since then, it, this popularity and its use, its uh, uh, its engagement has been skyrocketed a lot, unprecedented skyrocketed. And the the one thing that benefits the most is the Shanghai team. The main point uh, reason, the main reason behind. Uh, Behind this point is that since our company is also located in Shanghai and the Shanghai team has benefited the most, so we see the opportunity of basketball in the Chinese market and even in the Shanghai. So another one is uh, there is a lot of political tension between Chinese and US. There is always this uh, this this. End. But in this this is a very curious case that in case of basketball. There is the huge mutual understanding between China and uh, US. We can say that because there are lots of it's, it. It might come as a surprising thing, but there are lots of uh, Chinese followers of NBA who vehemently follows uh, those NBA in the United States. So it can also be a uh, China US uh, sports exchange as well. Another another fact is that 300 million official fans fans are there in China. So there is a huge scope of that, and also 800 fans go to the stadiums to just watch the basketball, and also 600 million people watch it on television. So this is the sort uh, status of basketball in China. Since we are we are a company, we are a business company, we have to know about the scope of the basketball in China. So these are the scope of basketball in China. Shanghai is the best. Of the number one point is Shanghai is the best of basketball in China. Second is nearly a billion basketball courts are there in China. The main point, the main reason behind this point is that without any infrastructure related to sports, no common sports can um, be promoted. So there is ready-made infrastructure of um, basketballs right there in um, China. So that's a, that's a huge scope for us. And NBA looks to Asia for the next growth phase. That's the opportunity for us. NBA is the popular brand in China. As I already mentioned, lots of people, lots of Chinese people follow NBA all around the China, mainland China. And there are um, there are lots of role models, Chinese role models that the teenager Chinese can look up to. For example, Yao Ming, Wang Zixi, Menke Better. So um, we believe that without any role model in a particular sports, there will be no scope. So as there is already role models. Um, role models in basketball in China, uh, it is definitely going to increase only. So there is a huge scope of that. And I believe that uh, uh, 
uh, all the judges present here uh, might see this. Actually, he is the Yao Ming. He is the first Chinese basketball player who ever trained his skills in the United States. And this is known as the Yao phenomenon. Right? His name is Yao Ming and this phenomenon is known as Yao, Yao phenomenon. The main reason behind this slide is that after Yao Ming joined NBA in 2002, lots of unprecedented number of Chinese kids, teenagers and youth follow basketball. They start following basketball. And it has just, it has only been increasing only. So, so we, there is a huge couple of basketball in China that we see. So now uh, for the further presentation, I would like to call Suri for Thank you, Robin. And so I'm here to talk about uh, introducing a team member with the uh, uh, skills they have, that we have here. Um, uh, we are three members, uh, th three, uh, three members, uh, the Harish Kumar, Harish Kumar uh, finance, uh, with the finance, uh, with the final, uh, with the exper past experience of formal finance management at um, Modern Auto Enterprise, and um, Amit, Amit Kaman, uh, Amit Kaman with a uh, sound in, uh, inter intellectual is, is skills, and me myself as the marketing head of four hotels, including Trekkers. Mm. Since we are, we are introducing our um, our new product, uh, uh, new product basketball here, uh, which is more more or less similar to uh, to the our. Um, uh, products uh, before we have for, uh, before we have uh, the uh, the yeah, board of members will be the uh, sim uh, similar as before and the several departments we have here is uh, sales and inventory operations on organization and finance uh, this is a, a snap a snap a snapshot of um, our from our policy. Um, um, with, uh, with, the demand, with the demand of 990 uh, foils, uh, um, we, we have projected basketball um, as the forecasted demand as 400, uh, forecasted supply uh, supply five, uh, 500, uh, forecasted sales with 400, and also inventory is 100. Thank you, Mr. Now you can see the snapshot of our competitor price. Our company think have a higher higher price than others. It is due to that we are spending more in our budget, uh, com uh, market budget, and it's also due to that we are providing a best quality product to the customer, and we are also buying it at the higher price. And our market price of that basketball would be. One four four four. Now our boards. This is also a snapshot of uh, our forcing game. Our presently board salary is four thousand, and we have total twenty four workers in uh, sales departments, and they are allocated at two thousand form. We are also spending on at uh, two thousand five hundred on average on training budget and we are also spending 4250 for excellent working condition after adding a new product basketball our sales we are going to add our sales department 10 workers and the same wages to our new new workers and we are also allocating training budget on average 3000 and we are a little bit increasing the, our training budget and we are all we will also be providing a best working excellent working conditions for our employees now i'm going to call Amin to continue from here thank you Aris. now i'd like to talk about organization how organization looks like since organization is comprised of a human resource and we people we guys at think we treat human resource not as the cap not as the resource but as the capital so we treat uh, our, our staff as the capital and this is the snapshot from our closing where you, where you can see that there is the staff satisfaction level and the, and it clearly shows that it lies in the quadrant of team leader it's it means that our company is not treating our employees just as a tool for making profit we are treating them 
in order to empower them. We are treating them in order to make them leader in whatever they are doing. So that's so the, the, the point that the team, there is a uh, staff satisfaction in team leaders shows that. And, and talking about the competitors, uh, since we are a Chinese, uh, since we are a Chinese company based on China, we have the four different com competitors. But but while looking closer to this, we can see that in each and every products that we did in processing, we have the highest number of market share. Whether it be 27.4 percent in skis, 35 and 737 percent is in bicycle, or staggering 37.7 percent is in foils, or 31.52 percent in support. So. So it proves that we have we are a little bit or let's say far ahead than our competitors. Another is and since we are launching a new product that is basketballs and let me talk about the main competitor of our basketball. Uh, since we are supplying our main supplier is Spatling, so these are the, our direct competitors: Molten, Wilson, Rolling, and Mike Knight, which are also produced by uh, basketballs. And the question arises now: How competitor will the question arises now that how competitor will react to uh, our entry to their market? So first of all, they might they, they definitely might reduce their salary, their cost, or um, their cost in order to gain higher share market, higher higher um, market share, or or let's say they might follow cost differential strategy. Now uh, for the marketing plan, I would like to call Sudhir. Thank you, Abhi. So marketing is most important for uh, for organization for a company to uh, to catch a uh, business. So. Our um, this is a snapshot, uh, a snap, a snapshot um, from our policy uh, that the with, with a budget for the different products, food products, um, uh, we, uh, we have estimated uh, 8,000 8, uh, 8, for, um, for ba basketball uh, promotion. Uh, com our communication mix will be commercial. My message will be best best quality, and e-commerce uh, social media uh, campaign. Uh, Yao Ming will be our um, um, face of brand, and this is uh, this is the SNF, SNF sort of um, processing. Uh, processing. Um, since our, our company is since our company is business to consumer, uh, our supply uh, supply is, is uh, expanding, and uh, price uh, of our product will be one hundred fifteen pounds. Now I'd like to call Harris first. Thank you, Sri. Now financial plan. This is another snapshot of balance sheet. It is a huge balance sheet consists of uh, twelve lakh fifty seven thousand five hundred twenty five. It is particularly due to the highest amount of group equity we have and this is a cash flow statement we have a change change in cash of rupees to of pound to lakh seven thousand three hundred fifty and we have also increasing profit year by year we have a highest profit in period nine among competitors of three lakh nine thousand two hundred seventy three. And now I'm going to call Ami to continue from here. Thank you, Is That was that was the financial sta status of our processing project um, product for products. Now I would like to uh, say some light and forecasted financial position of our new product that is basketball. Uh, we have assumed that we have forecasted that the total cost of sales would be forty six thousand twenty pound uh, with the with the total number of sales of forty units in, at the um, at price of one forty and the sales revenue would be 57,600 pound, order expenses 250 pound, profit would be 11,330. And most notably, this is just the forecasted period of data for the period one. From the period two, we have assumed, we have forecasted the annual increase of 20% in each period. Uh, now, now, talking about the critical analysis and the risk management of a company, um, uh, what we have done is we have done a short analysis because it would be fair, fair enough to calculate all the strengths as well as weakness. So the number one strength is that 
as um, already we have shown that we are the number one company in the stock market so that's our strength and also we have we have the highest market share in each and every product that we did in process so these are two our strengths our weaknesses are since product is a um, basketball is a new product so it might be proved as our atlas hill so and another weakness is many competitors and there might be possibility of new entrants as well so that's it and another is opportunities uh, there is a since china is a huge market there is there is unlimited or undefined uh, size market size so there is a huge scope for us there is a huge opportunity for us and similarly uh, going to the trades uh, there is a risk of introducing new products for a growing company like us there is always a trade that we uh, gonna new you know, introduce new product and it is also possible that many company are introducing similar product at the same time so that can be our trade as well so so like the main thing is that what we have you know, what we are trying to present um, to our investors is that we have already succeeded in um, doing business, virtual business. Um, there are lots of evidence that we are the number one company in the stock market. We have the highest number of net profit among all the competitors. We have the we have that um, all, all the products in the stars in the business matrix and also by by that we believe that we ask our investor to invest on our. Product.